हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर टूडेज टॉपिक इज कंटिन्यूस सिस्टम्स फॉर टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन कंटिन्यूस सिस्टम्स फॉर लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशन विद डिफरेंट केसेस सो बोथ एंड्स आर फ्री वन एंड फिक्स वन एंड फ्री सो लाइक दैट वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंट केसेस फॉर लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशन टूडे विल सी टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन इन अ कंटिन्यूस सिस्टम now today's activity is derive the frequency equation of torsional vibrations for a free free shaft of length l now this is a shaft uh, and the length of the shaft is uh, l and both ends of the shaft is free so because of the torque applied uh, there will be angular displacement theta and uh, because of the free end so rate of change of angular displacement uh, will be zero so del theta by del x at x equal to zero is zero and rate of change of angular displacement del theta by del x at x equal to l is also zero because both ends are free and we know that at at the ends the rate of change of angular displacement or linear displacement is zero now uh, these are the boundary conditions so these are the boundary conditions we apply these boundary conditions to the general solution of equation for torsional vibration so the general solution equation for torsional vibration the general solution equation for torsional vibration is given by so theta theta is a function of x and t so theta xt is equal to a sin omega n upon c into x plus b cos omega n c into x into c cos omega n x plus d sorry this is sin and d cos omega n x so this is the gen sorry t it should be t so this sin and cos are a function of x and this sin and cos functions are function of t now we'll put uh, these boundary conditions to obtain the constants a b c d this a b c d constants can be obtained by putting the boundary conditions now we'll put the boundary conditions into the general solution so first we'll apply del theta by del x so for that we need to differentiate this equation with respect to x so del theta by del x is equal to so this becomes a omega n upon c cos omega n upon c into x minus b omega n upon c sin omega n upon c into x into c now uh, this is this entire bracket is a function of t so uh, for differentiating with respect to x this becomes constant so this entire term, term will remain as it is so c sin omega n t plus b cos omega n t now we'll put the boundary conditions del theta by del x for x equal to 0 so del theta by del x for x equal to 0 so here the value of x Value of x is zero and t. So if you put x equal to zero, so cos cos zero is one. So this becomes a 
omega n upon c and we know that sin 0 is 0 so this entire term becomes 0 and this c sin omega n t plus d cos omega n t this will be okay so this is c sin omega n t plus d cos omega n t and we know that this is equal to 0 so this entire term will be divided by 0 so this becomes 0 and uh, here a, a will be 0 so this a will be 0 now we will put this a as 0 in del theta by del x so this entire term this entire term becomes 0 because a is 0 so this we will rewrite del theta by del x equation so del theta by del x is equal to minus b omega n by c sin omega n by c into x into c sin omega n t plus d cos omega n t. Now here we have revised uh, this equation by putting the value of a. Now our second boundary condition says that del theta by del x at x equal to l is equal to again 0. So we will put the value of x and we equate it with respect to 0. So this becomes minus b omega n upon c sin omega n upon c and we will put the value of x as l. And this uh, entire term will be divided by 0 so this becomes 0. This also will be divided by 0 so this becomes 0. So sin omega n upon c into l is equal to 0 and we know that sin can be 0 only when uh, this term is the multiples of pi because sin pi is 0 and if it is multiple by of pi so that is uh, 2 pi is also 0, 3 pi is also 0, 4 pi is also 0. So sin n into pi is equal to 0 where n is 1 comma 2 comma 3 up to infinity and they are modes. So we can say that n into pi is equal to this term. So we can equate omega n upon c into l is equal to n into pi and omega n is equal to n pi c upon l. Okay. So this is the frequency with which this uh, this is the frequency equation for this uh, torsional case. Now we will uh, write down the general uh, equation, general solution equation by putting the value of omega n here. So this general solution equation theta x comma t can be written as now here we know that a is 0 so a is 0 that means this entire term will be 0 so this can be written as summation n equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 up to infinity up to infinity minus b cos omega n the value of omega n is n pi into c upon l into c into c sin omega n hey, this becomes minus b into 
sin this this will be differentiated as sin or other this is correct one this is b cos we'll put the value of omega n as this cc will get cancel so omega n will be n pi c upon l plus d cos n pi c upon l into t so this is the general solution for the torsional vibration okay so we have obtained the frequency equation and then we put the value of frequency in this uh, general solution equation and obtain this uh, general solution equation for free free and shaft so i hope you have understood uh, the frequency equation and modification of general solution equation for torsional case so thank you